Welcome back. You're watching the Gadgets and Gizmo show with me, Siddharth Sharma. Now, Ubisoft recently came out with the next level to their popular franchise, Far Cry. This one is called Far Cry 4 and you would definitely relate to it because this game is just awesome. How awesome? Sahil Maniktala tells you all about that. Yes, Siddharth, Far Cry 4 is finally here and it is already being hailed as one of the best games in the series so far. Now, this game is developed by a company called Ubisoft, which in the past has been accused of rehashing the same stuff over and over again and not really trying anything new. So next up, we're going to find out what new features this game has to offer its fans and whether it's worth their time. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you. Set in Kirat, a fictional region in Nepal, Far Cry 4 is packed with snowy mountains, ancient temples, religious statues and a whole lot of wildlife. In this installment, you play as Ajay Kale, an American who has returned to his mother's homeland to spread her ashes and fulfill her dying wish. But then for some reason or the other, you're caught up in the middle of a civil war and the antics of an evil dictator. As a player, you get to choose who are your allies and enemies in a game with the same mechanics as Far Cry 3, only expanded and polished in a bigger open world environment. Now, one of the most interesting things about Far Cry 4 is the way in which you travel and explore the open world. You can walk, you can run, you can swing across trees, you can even ride the odd elephant or two. But perhaps the best way to travel in this game is with an auto rickshaw. Now, I could sit here and talk about just that all day long, but I think it's one of those things that you just need to see for yourself. How amazing was that, right? And if riding an auto and causing a lot of destruction along the way doesn't convince you to play this game, then don't worry, because there are some other features that make Far Cry 4 the complete package. Easily the best part of Far Cry 4 is the game's stronghold takeover mission, where you're required to stake out a fortress manned with hostile troops. These sections are as much fun as ever, combining tension and tactics with epic firefights. Another of the game's new addition is the improved and expanded multiplayer, with this year's standout online feature being the new cooperative mode, where you can take your character online and team up with other players to tackle the game's campaign. Now Far Cry 4 does borrow a lot from the last game, Far Cry 3, but we're not complaining, as it's a formula that seems to work very well for Ubisoft. Despite a very similar gameplay engine, developers of Far Cry 4 still managed to add enough excitement, fresh ideas and a brilliant new landscape to justify the return trip. I came in a same man and came out like this. To you, you will come out a king. Do what you came here to do. HTC came out with the HTC One M8 this year and this was undoubtedly one of the best Android smartphones we've seen for a long time. But the only hitch with this smartphone was the camera on it. It had a duo camera but a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera which would give you very distorted low light imaging. And to improve on that, HTC came out with another version recently to the M8 and this one is called HTC One M8i. And the camera on this one is improved. Check this out. HTC has recently launched the HTC One M8i in the Indian market. And it seems to be the exact carbon copy of the discontinued HTC One M8. The only real change in the all-new eye comes in the form of the rear camera. The 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera is gone, now replaced by a 13 megapixel dual lens one. The updated camera takes better quality pictures from its predecessor, but only marginally. 
and in low lighting conditions, the camera really didn't impress us all that much. HTC has decided to keep the 5 megapixel front facing camera and it's still one of the best phones for snapping selfies. The addition of new camera modes such as split captures is quite refreshing and gives you the best of both snappers. There are also a range of new camera features such as auto selfie, voice controls for your snapper, video face tracking and video screen sharing. The new HTC One M8i isn't offering current M8 users anything groundbreaking, apart from a slightly better camera with a higher megapixel count. But for people considering to buy a powerful smartphone, then the HTC One M8i at a price tag of Rs 38,990 is a brilliant option. Now you all love our Bluetooth speakers for our music listening needs. But what if you don't want to replace your old speakers and still go wireless? Well, don't worry, up next is the solution. Logitech came out with a Bluetooth audio adapter in India recently, and you can buy this one for as low as Rs 1467. This is a tiny gadget, and in the box you get just a Bluetooth audio adapter and a power adapter. Logitech utilizes multi point Bluetooth tech with this new adapter, which allows you to connect two compatible Bluetooth source devices with it at once. This audio adapter from Logitech can convert any speaker, home audio system or AV receiver into a Bluetooth wireless device. Once you've paired the adapter with a device, it will automatically reconnect. You can choose either a 3.5mm jack or standard RCA cable to connect your system to the receiver. It works on Bluetooth 3.0 technology and weighs just 47 grams. The sound quality and fidelity are great. Broadcasting range is up to 65 feet or 20 meters with an external antenna, which is very impressive. This is one gadget that can make any of your home sound system go wireless. And wireless is awesome. And with that, it's time for us to say goodbye on this edition of the Gadgets and Gizmos show. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, tweet us at HLT Gizmos. You can also email us on htgg at arjstuck.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Until then, keep loving technology and spend wisely.